Today is going to be all about Lalo. We're going to come in with a Blizzard Lalo, and we're going to come in with a Sui slash Giant Arrow Lalo. Let's start with the first one. Using my Tunnel 12 to take on this Tunnel 13. And yes, this doesn't have a Clank Castle. We're going to work with that, obviously, here. But I'm going to come in with the Blizzard Lalo with a Fireball. The reason is because I want to help take down this Royal Champion, or at least damage her quite a bit. Because this has 2,900 HP. And then if I go to the Warden's Fireball and I check how much that has, that has 2,750. So the RC almost gets taken out if i then pair in with headhunter with the ward internal tome and the blimp i can try to land right here to take out this whole section like that super wizards could just turn around and also chain through the royal champion and take her down but i need to take this down first then the warden and then the blimp can go here i just hope there's no tesla's right here maybe drop a balloon to test so the fireball doesn't accidentally go here but then i could help land it i need the royal champion not to be over here but i need the royal champion to be right here so that she steps up and then the fireball hits and damages this area blimp goes in takes that out then my heroes can make their way like this make their way around and then the lalo can just slowly come around the base like that as the blimp takes it out headhunters can then go under here to take out the enemy queen with freezes along the way i'm gonna test for a tessa all right don't see any so we're gonna go with the uh let's see a couple balloons a warden and then let's go the balloons should pull the royal champion and then a headhunter and then boom there we go damage the royal champ take you down maybe drop another one here rage max uh max level invis okay another invis now the rest are not max level after this okay tunnel explodes they're fine continue to take out the scatter shot and got the value so let's drop the king the queen here I think the queen can reach. I do have some wall breakers. I'll drop an archer wall break like this so it distracts the Grand Warren altar. All right, so here we go. We got a lot of freezes to protect. Queen, where are you going? Let's go with ice golem like this. Yep, queen can reach that. Okay, I was pretty sure it can. Pop this king ability. All right, queen stepping in. Where's queen? Okay, ice golem gets locked onto, and queen's going for the single even better so since our heroes are gonna go that way i'm just gonna start the lalo this way drop some minions Get another hound like this some minions around queen skip across drop another hound here freeze okay just freeze again let's go ahead and haste Freeze. All right, baby dragon here. We gotta just move our way around. So I was obviously thinking about Laloing the other way. The reason why I was initially thinking about sending the Lalo, hold on, let me get the troops down, uh, this way was because I didn't know if my heroes would get enough value to make it and take out the enemy queen. And since my heroes were able to take out the enemy queen, I could then just start the Lalo this way. If I could not take out the enemy queen, then I would have to start the Lalo this way, and then headhunters can come under while these defenses are distracted, and headhunters can securely take out the enemy queen. Otherwise, if, I, if you're any on a queen, that can be a bit of a problem. But if there's no defenses... We end on the queen and the balloons could technically target her. Now for tunnel 13, this is going to be the blizzard Lalo here again, where we're going to be using the super wizards. But let's break this base down as I'm not going to be sending the blimp for the town hall. So what I like to do is when I send the blimp is to use the blimp to either one, take out the town hall or two to take out a valuable section so that you can use your heroes to move in for the town hall. So if I draw a circle like this, what I typically do, what I like to do, is to send, let's say the blimp goes in for the town hall, takes out this section, then I use my heroes to come from the edge of where the blimp was, so either this way or this way, to take out another section of the base, let's say that. And then the Lalo would continue to fly around usually like that. But if my heroes 
or if my blimp doesn't take out the town hall, I want the hero portion to go for the town hall. So in this case, I, let's say, send the blimp right here and I land like this. I can grab some nice value of a scatter shot, the ground expo, the multi, the sweeper. I could grab all of this, right? So all this can kind of go down uh, like so. And then my uh, king could potentially move into here to grab the multi and the enemy queen while my queen can step through here and then eventually go grab the town hall or I could just send my queen into here and then the king go in for the town hall. But essentially they would, with the raw champion potentially, and they all take that down. The blimp takes this down and then the Lalo could come right on through the eagle artillery to take that down. And so we don't end on an eagle. Give this a shot. So here we go. What I like to do is drop a hound. I'm going to come in this angle so I can avoid the sweeper facing this way. So we're going to go hound I like this. Couple balloons, couple balloons, and then a blimp. Okay, let's see. Get the invis ready. Dodging the sweeper. Red air bomb, we're fine. Invis rage. Pulling out the dragons, which is very important. All right, can we... Oh, no. We're, let's see, we're going for the dragons. Okay, good. We're going for the scatter. We can even kill the queen if they step up for her. Okay. Oh, okay. One goes for the queen. Damaging her quite a bit. And... Takes her down. Perfect. All right. So that means I can actually drop the queen here. Uh, I can drop a baby dragon like this to force the queen in. So let's go ice golem like that. And let's go king right here. Okay. We got another wall break. So I'll just wall break. Sure. I guess the queen will step into here. Get some nice value. Allow you to get to the town hall a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Obviously, the Royal Champion's lower level, but since the Queen's getting all that value, our Royal Champion can then go under the Lalo since I don't need it for the Town Hall, since the Ice Golem will die in this area. King's backtracking a little bit, and Town Hall gets frozen. Pop that King ability, and let's go ahead. We're, okay, so we'll just go Hound, boom, Hound, and drop the Warden. Make sure you're dropping minions behind the Lalo so you don't time fail. That's very important. I can just freeze here and I can drop another hound and then we can drop some headhunters under the warden. I can even drop the royal champ here and then go ahead and pop the warden ability to protect. Taking out this king. I can try to wall break that as we're making our way through. Oh, there's the queen's giant arrow. Drop some minions. More balloons, more balloons. Obviously it's the lower level. It's not a fully max town hall. Uh, what I would recommend is maybe drop a minion from certain angles to try to pull some red air bombs uh, Where the Lalo hasn't kind of gone through so there there he goes pulls one red air bomb pulls a tornado trap to kind of uh, Make it so that your troops don't pull the traps that if the balloons are coming back to the core So you can have a better chance of tripling now for town hall 14. This is gonna be all about the giant arrow mine 17 here and I've got three max lightning and five lightning of my own. And this is going to be the plan. I'm going to drop the queen to the bottom side and have her have the arrow fly all the way through. And what I want to take out is I'm going to use three max lightning spells uh, from the clan castle and then one additional from uh, my cooked up lightning. So that's four. Then I will need to use the uh two here uh like that and then two more like so so the plan is to have the so that's one two th three four five of my own and then three and then i will uh have a earthquake here i will have an earthquake can i reach this multi and the a monolith oh the single and the this multi because i only have wait I don't have any earthquakes. When I do it, I need to take some earthquakes. Uh, that would be a big problem if I don't have any earthquakes. So I need at least one earthquake here. I need another earthquake or even a third earthquake. Um, I completely forgot about my earthquakes. That would be bad. So either way, um, I will... Um, I definitely need to take these two down. This I could take down with the raw champion or something. Because then I can, er, because my plan is to get the king to go into here, wall break, and then get the royal champion like this. And if this is down, this is down, this is down, then the Lalo can come through here with the stone slammer 
A hound can fly over the town hall, go for an air defense, and then pull any and all traps, including probably a tornado trap in this area. Warden ability over the town hall. Warden ability also clips a headhunter that then runs in for the enemy queen or enemy royal champion as we fly our way around. So what this means is I need at least one earthquake here, uh, two and three to be safe, which means that I'm going to have to dump my hay spells and a freeze in order to do that so the plan is to always drop the queen to as far of the corner as possible but i'm noticing it's not exactly lined up so this might be a problem if i can't get this queen arrow to exactly hit so i'm gonna go earthquake here first so we're gonna go an earthquake i'm gonna go queen arrow boom oh, okay didn't hit that single but it did hit this so we're gonna go that so I'll, I'll replan this attack don't worry it's fine it's fine i'm gonna wall break let's go ice golem into here so the building was just shifted a little bit here but it's okay i still got it i'm not investing the other lightning spells at this point um let's go king ability headhunter let's go additional headhunter poison right through here Try to wall break that. All right, so what do we want to do this earthquake here now? Uh, we got four lightning, RC ability. What is it chaining onto? Okay, let's go, boom. Let's just use the lightning onto that single since we were able to take it down. Let's go with you. Uh, let's drop a hound. Gordon, the hound will pull any traps over the town hall. There it is. Drop some minions. Headhunters, the next hound. So the warden ability can protect it. And there we go. Fly all the way across. Take out the enemy queen. Alright, so... Drop more of you. As these balloons will fly their way around. Okay, so Stone Slam will make its way to the court. We got some lightning spells. Baby dragon... Wizard, wizard, queen still going. Lightning here, lightning there. Wizard down, or balloon down there, and we're fine. No worries. The arrow was not exactly lined up because it's just, you see how this, now that I'm realizing it, this is barely not on the corner. So lining up the shot was a little bit difficult, but the value from the heroes is still insane. And now for Town Hall 15, let's take a look at this base here. We have the potential to line up the shot because now look at the difference right in the corner, not offset by a little bit, but now it's right in the corner. So I can then line this shot up right through here. And now I could take out, I'm not gonna take out the Eagle with the lightning because I only have three lightning spells here. So the plan is to have the arrow fly through and then I can go two lightning here with an earthquake, obviously. Um, so that will go down and then one lightning here. So that's one, uh, one, two like this and then one here for a total of three then earthquake in each one of these locations so the spell towers are gone this multi's down and then as the queen grabs this i'll send the rc and she'll take out this eagle and i could like use some sneakies get my king to run through sneakies and try to wall break this and get the king to clear that and then the queen royal champ takes out this lightning takes out this i can then send like a blimp and this will be a blizzard to take out the monolith take out the town hall take out this the queen's arrow will take that out so then my lalo will come up through this way around the base and that have to cut through the core in the middle here which will be a little annoying uh but hopefully it will work and yeah that's the plan here it's a kind of messy but we got no rage for this these super wizards here now that i'm realizing it um i probably definitely want to grab a raid spell now for my super wizards we gotta get earthquake and then the arrow let's not mess the arrow up so let's go with a earthquake through here queen arrow boom 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 that goes down okay perfect let's 
send you through here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, so let's see. Uh, King is gonna make his way here. Queen, I'm not gonna drop the lizard just yet. So we wall break that. Let's drop maybe some balloons here. RC can go in for this eagle. Oh, King is gonna have to get pulled around. All right, he's taking out the scattershot compartment. RC ability skips through. All right. Let's go blimp. Breaking this section down one by one. Invis, rage, boom. Out comes a giant bomb. Oh, come on. Okay, the whole plan is to try to go for the monolith, but they're not going for the monolith. They go for the bomb tower here. Where are they going? Okay, they're going for the wall. All right, so we're gonna have to go Lava Hound. Some minions around Warden. Okay, let's go some balloons here. All right, so we got a minute 25. Minion, minion. Okay, there's the Lava Hound. Gotta get my hound down. Continue our way through, another hound here. Minions. We got or waiting. Okay, we gotta go get this warden ability. Boom, protect. These balloons are gonna have to make their way towards this multi on this backside here. We have a sneaky. Drop a sneaky like so. We have a baby dragon. Okay, we have some archers. Minion will die. Drop a baby dragon here. Now they're sneaky like this. Drop an archer. If we won't do anything, we're fine. The warden's helping out. Balloons will help clean up. That sneaky actually worked really good on the storage. And we got it. I mean, it's a broken up Lalo type plan. Having every single section kind of planned out there. But it ended up working. And the giant arrow got the value. The best thing to do is to make sure you're trying to drop your queen as far from a corner as possible to give your best chance to get that giant arrow value here. Hopefully you enjoy.